Uh, what's going on, bro? Yeah, man. What it be like? <laughs> man, life be good. This is another uh, episode. We're getting ready to record, and it we looks back. we back with it, man. It looks like we got uh, uh, some interesting uh, juice to be able to sample this evening. We got some stuff going. Yeah, man. What we got going on first. Man? So, so we got um, this is a uh, independent bottling of uh, Duncan Taylor uh, Highland Park Thirteen, and uh, this is actually a very I would consider this to be a very rare bottle. I bought this bottle uh, when I was in Germany, a place called Magdeburg, Germany, in uh, late January, early February of this year. Um, and uh, it's it was imported by a company called Kirsch, K-I-R-S-C-H, and they are an exclusive importer for German uh, single malts. Okay. And I'm not exactly sure what that means. I don't know if that means that Germany can't get single malts unless it's imported by Kirsch. But this this the shop that I got this bottle out of, along with four other bottles, they were all imported by Kirsch. Okay. Uh, and so um, this just looked very interesting to me. Uh, again, it's a 13 year Highland Park. And one of the reasons why I say it's kind of rare, bro. What does it say there? One of yeah 257 bottles. Yeah. And so. Um, What's cash strength too? It's so. cash strength, fifty four point five percent ABV. Okay, and uh, you know we both are big fans of Highland Park, yep. and so I thought to myself, let me uh, let me pick up a bottle of this, and well, let's, uh, let's find out what it'd be like, man. Let's do it. Get on some notes. All right. Well. So I'm picking up a, a, a light amount of sherry. And, and just so uh, people can understand, we've had uh, this pour, pour it's been sitting in the Glencairn probably about 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's not been watered or anything like that, but. Um, I get a little bit of sherry. Yeah, it's, it smells like it's going to be a, a you know. That, that, that Highland Park, just that. It's not a smoke, but it's that Highland. I, we've had enough Highland Park, but you know what Highland Park smells like. You know, it smells like Highland Park. It it does know. to you. Yeah. I, you know, full full disclosure, this is not my first pour of uh, from this bottle. No, let's see. <laughs> Where are we at here? No, see, he gonna try to bust a brother out. <laughs> <laughs> he knows when I opened that bottle, he was with me. So, <laughs> so but um. You know, there, there there's a. It does it doesn't it doesn't nose heavy. No, you know it's not nosing like it's fifty four or nothing like that. So when I was when I first nosed and tasted this, I you know I wondered to myself, you know, does this taste like a prototypical Highland Park to me? And I don't know that I would have picked this out as a Highland Park if I didn't know what it was. Okay. You know, just by taste. Um, I, I mean, I like what I'm nosing. Um. Honestly, yeah, I've been, get, I've been, some I, light floral notes on it. Yeah. You know, almost like a, um, uh, I'm picking up like a, a strawberry note too. Almost like a strawberry Skittle or something like that. Okay. I, I can get a little bit of fruit off of there. Yeah. Let's get on some taste, man. Let's see what this thing is working with. All right, let's do it. Do the thing. Hmm. Sweet. You know, it's got that like a that burnt char kind of flavor to it. Yeah, I'm I'm picking up wood on it for sure. Yeah. Uh and yeah, it could even be burnt wood. Um it didn't necessarily be burnt, but it's charred, you know. Yeah, it's, it's almost like a bourbon in that regard. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's got a long finish on it. Well, that's, that was the thing when I tasted it that, that that you know, that kind of impressed you know, me the most. What you just said is, is very true. It, it, it almost does drink like a bourbon. Yeah. It is, you know, like 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 a sherry bourbon. Yeah. You know, I guess, yeah. you know, so, you, you know, um, you, you have something maybe like an Angel's Envy or something like that. Not that that's finished in sherry, but it is finished. Um but uh, the thing about this particular sip was that when um, his it was um, 
it was uh, kind of um, nondescript when you first put it in your mouth, but then this explosion happens. And an ex it's, a, an ex it's an explosion of flavor. Uh, uh, everything we talked about, the floral, the strawberry, uh, the sherry, it all becomes more intense, uh, especially on the back of your tongue. Got a little bit more sherry on the second set. I'm, I'm going to drop a little bit of water in here just to see what we're working with. So this is um 54.5. Yeah, please. Good, thanks. This 54.5% uh ABV and um it's 13 years old. Uh I saw on here. One of the things that's interesting on here and I'm not really sure what to make of this. It says matured in oak cast and then it has three 2007 Harlan Harlan Park Oloroso Sherry Octave. But they have three different numbers on them. So, yeah. uh, you know, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to, to see that. Um, but uh, and I'm not real sure what they mean when they say octaves or octave. Uh, I thought octaves uh, were kind of like staves where they took pieces of a, of a, a barrel and that had been finished in something and broke it off and stuck it in the old cast. Um, I've heard it. I've heard it used in stave, but not octave. That doesn't mean to be the case that it's not true. Yeah. But I'm not sure. Yeah. So, I, you know, octave could be another name for, you know, like a, a barrel or a cask or a sherry butt, that kind of a thing. Um, you yes. Know. This. What do you think? Well, you know, like I say, full disclosure, we had it last night. And I like it. It, it's it, and it it didn't occur to me until you just said it that it does kind of drink like a bourbon. But now I'm tasting the more of the the, the scotch notes and it's more mm -hmm. complicated. Yeah, but it's that, sweet like a bourbon. That that that, that water <laughs> that water did bring out additional it, notes. Yeah, it did. It, it absolutely brought out additional notes, and the notes that it brought out enhances it. It uh, a lot more to share. Yeah, it, a lot more to share. Yeah. yeah, and and so, but it's not overly sherry. No, it's not overly sherry. Yeah. And at a hundred and what a hundred and nine proof, um, but it makes the wood go away. The you water, think so? Yeah, the water makes the wood go away. I will. I will admit when I had it when I had it last night, I thought it was a little overly woody. You know how you could just be in the barrel too long. Yeah. So so a full disclosure again, even though we down to this particular point on the bottle. Uh, th there were more than more people than just Brent and I that were drinking on this last <laughs> night. You know, I, I might have a little bit of a problem and stuff, but uh, I don't go to meetings, so I don't. <laughs> Stupid joke. Ha <laughs> ha um, um, I think it dials back the wood just a little bit, but it's still prominent to me, though. It's still prominent it is, to me. That's what. I'll, I'll tell you this. I like it better today than I did yesterday. Me too. Me too. And <laughs> and, and 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 I'll say this: uh, when we started drinking this, and I had to stop yesterday when we were drinking it, that I don't know that I would be able to pick this out as a Highland Park. Um, I rarely, or not very often, put uh, a drop or two of water. I mean, I do, but I didn't put any water in, in the samples that we had yesterday. And today we put, uh, as you saw, a little yeah. bit of water in it, and uh, it it, it, now, it now actually seems like a Highland Park. Well, I got another Highland Park cast strength in there. Yeah, and it, I have some notes that remind me of the same thing mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. right now. Uh, you picked up on it before I did. Yeah, yeah. It it is drinking. You know what it actually reminds me of a little bit. It reminds me a little bit of the dark. The 17 year. I haven't had that in a long time. I know, but that's what this reminds me of a little bit. It, you know that the dark drinks like a bourbon a little it bit does, too. It does. Yeah. I, got a, I got a bottle. I was doing some shifting around and stuff. I got the bottle shoved back in the back back there. No, that's where mine is you too. Know. And and I don't break that bad boy out yeah. unless it's a, well, a mine, very exceptional occasion. Unopened. Of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> but I, got, I mean, the, 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 the two that I had that was open and gone. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because I I had I had an affinity for that stuff. Well, I used to I I was liking that. You got you got to come passion. You got to come by the crib, man, because okay. my my bottle is open. Okay, so we can drink on that. We can right. we can start a holiday season with some uh some seventeen in the dark. Uh, but yeah, this that's what this reminds me a little bit of. 
Well, man, thanks for bringing it. I mean, this is very good. I mean, like I said, I like it a lot better today. Did it get a little bit of air in the bottle? Yeah. I mean, it's down there quite a bit. Yeah. We had it opening up in the glass for about a half hour, yeah. which we didn't last night. No, we didn't last night. We just hit it. We just hit it. Hit, uh, and, hit it and quit it. You yeah. Know, so. And so I am, and I didn't put any water in it last night and I got a drop of water in it today. And I'm, I like it a lot more today than I did yesterday. You know, sure. I mean, the the lesson in this is that a little bit of time in the, in the Glen Cairn yeah. uh, and even in an open bottle where you get away from the neck pour. Sometimes some magic can happen. I mean, it can taste one way, but if you give it a little bit of time to open up a little bit, put a little bit of water in it to open it up, not to dilute it. Man, that's a lot better. So, yeah, so it's, it can be very good. Kind of well, don't give me the line. I can't remember exactly. Uh, Thereabouts. But, uh, my recollection on this was that it was about 125 euro, okay. which just my rough calculation would be that be about 140 US. Yeah. Um, and uh, Man, I, I had a, I had, I, I, I put myself on a limit. I said I'm not spending more than 150 US per bottle, and none of the five bottles I got uh, over there uh, exceeded that price point. And my recollection is that this particular bottle was one of the higher priced of the five that I got. Okay. So. So yeah, well, but it's money well spent. Thanks, man. It was very yeah. good. Yeah, I'm good. Say, the finish is long on this thing. It's very long. It's very, it very just, long. It just hangs on the back. Yeah. And it's got that, it just kind of opens up and explodes yeah. in the back on, on yeah. the tongue. Yeah, we don't we, we gonna we have to open we got to sample this next to the dark. The dark. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Highland Park 17 cool. the dark. Yeah, we can do that. That's what we're gonna have to do. We can yeah. do that. So we can do that. On that note, hey, folks, <laughs> y'all have a good evening. Appreciate you. Late.